Hey guys, welcome to WPF Tutorials. Today we're going to be talking about headered content controls like group box and tab item. So first of all, what is a headered content control? Well, the headered content control basically derives from the content control, which simply adds one extra feature to it, a header. So the group box happens to be one such control that derives from the headered content control. So as you can see here from the XAML that I have constructed, um, it looks, some of you, you Windows users out there are going to recognize this or kind of recognize it. It's the system properties dialog. It is actually a bunch of group boxes. And I think whenever we go into, let's see, my computer properties. And if we want to go into, oh goodness. I'm losing my geek cred here. Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. I found it. Yep, this is it. Okay, so yeah, this, I'm sure all of you recognize this window. Um, well, what you may have never thought about until now is that these are all group boxes. This is a group box for performance. This is a group box for user profiles. And this is a group box for startup and recovery. So I'm going to click cancel. So that's exactly what this is. These are group boxes. These are considered headered content controls. So how do we use them? That's, I guess that's really the, the question you guys are asking in your head. It's very, very simple, actually. Let's go back to my XAML markup. What I did was I created a stack panel of group boxes. So you just define the group box as an open and closing tag, and you just add a header attribute, and you name it. So performance goes up in the header and then all of your content goes in between the group box tags and just keep in mind these are still content controls so you can only technically have one element in the group box at a time however just like content controls you can put a layout container in that content control and that can contain multiple elements all right another thing we can take advantage of here is the fact that the header is also a content control so we don't actually have to define the header with an attribute. We can come down here and we can create a groupbox.header property element. Let's see, we can use that. And I have a stack panel here with an image and a text block. And the image is of a humanoid head. It's not sure if it's a female or a male. There's no eyes or anything like that and the text block will say user profile and that is actually vertically let's see that's vertically aligned to the center so we can come in here and run that and we have performance and we have user profile with a humanoid blue head next to it pretty cool right so the next thing we can do is we can move on to the tab item and that's really the one thing that you'll notice here it's it's kind of it's kind of missing so all we really need to do is just create a tab control we're going to create a tab item and that tab items header is going to be i believe it was advanced and all we need to do is copy and paste all of these group boxes into the tab item content. So now we have an advanced tab and let's see just out of curiosity there's computer name, hardware, system protection and remote. Computer name, hardware, system pro protection and remote and I believe that goes down towards the bottom of the tab strip and when we run it we've created our system properties tab strip hopefully you understand what a headered content control is that a group box and a tab item are examples of headered content controls and just kind of give you an idea of, of how we see them in our everyday lives but don't even realize it necessarily uh, that is actually it Thanks, and I will see you guys next time.